So I've always known swearing is bad, being raised in a strict household, but uh, why according to the Bible is it bad? So there's a few reasons, man. And this is kind of my personal take on it. Uh, the Bible does talk a lot about, about the power of the tongue. It talks about the things that you you speak over your life. There's, there's a few areas that I want to take this take this out. Right? It talks a lot in James about being careful with the things that you say, that, that you have the ability to speak life or to speak death uh, into people's lives and over your own situations that you're going through. And here's, you know, one thing that I love to use, obviously, is scripture as the ultimate authority, ultimate background. But for, for a lot of people who aren't uh, maybe Christian watching the stream and who maybe, um, and you know what, let me throw a little tip in here when it comes to talking to people. I'm a Christian. I love, I love God. I love the Bible. The Bible changed my life. But we need to come, when we're answering questions to people who don't believe in God, we need to understand that, yes, for us, the Bible is like the ultimate authority, but it's not for other people. So the answer, well, the Bible says, a lot of people don't care what the Bible says because to, to other people, the Bible is just a book of black and white letters. It doesn't have authority. So we can't always just so quick to be like, well, the Bible says this because people don't believe that. So what I do when I talk to a non-Christian, I do say, of course, you know, I believe this because the Bible says it, but I'll also use um, just some other examples. For example, what I want to say to you right now, Kyle Obama, is I really believe, man, that God wants us to be the kind of people that represent who He is well. And let me let me let me let me make something. Let me throw something at you that might make you think a little bit. A lot, I've I've heard a lot of people say that swearing isn't bad, but let me say this, man. Let me say this. Even those who aren't Christian, yeah, it's because I keep shaking my desk. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Even the world, even those who aren't Christian, you know what they you know what they label. Um, swears at they call them bad words bad words swears aren't allowed to be said in public schools swears aren't allowed well they shouldn't be allowed to be said in a professional setting when you're meeting with a client swearing is it, it's just you know we haven't even gotten into the bible yet but it's even those who aren't christian even those who don't believe in god who don't hold to the standards of the Bible, even those people call swearing bad words. And if the world, those who don't give a second thought about God, label swears as bad words, how much more as Christians should we understand that swearing is bad? Swearing is bad words, man. The Bible, the Bible talks in so many places about representing God well. Even when Christians swear, I mean, literally, I went to TwitchCon, not TwitchCon. I went to PAX East, which is a convention for gamers, and it was being broadcasted live. And somebody swore live on stream. One of the one of the panelists, and like one of the mediators was like, "Hey, man, no swearing, no bad words live on stream." And this was like a completely secular event, completely non-Christian event. People were drinking booze. People were dressed in all kinds of outfits <laughs> that you don't even want to hear about. It was a completely secular event. And they were like, hey, no swearing. Because they're bad words, you know what I mean? So how much more as Christians should we avoid swearing? You know what? This is great. You know, Mr. Eklo, man. I, there's, you know, verses that I couldn't think of on the top of my head. Let's look up some of these, man. Ephesians 4.29. You know, like I, like I said, not everyone uses the Bible as their standard. I do. But let's look at these. Check this out. Ephesians 4.29. That's perfect, man. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs. Don't let, don't let junk come out of your mouth. Like, we have the ability to speak and encourage people. We have the ability to literally speak life over situations that are dead. Us as Christians, us as people who carry the presence of the living God who lives inside of us, we have the ability to speak life or we can allow junk to come out of our mouths. We can allow things that come out of our mouths that people just say, oh, yep, he's just like everyone else that I know. He's just like every other church goer that I, that I can think of. He's just like every other guy from my school. What makes you different, man? Represent Kyle Obama, man. I love you, dude. I want to encourage you. Speak well, man. Speak well. Do I hate people who swear? Of course not. Of course not. I love everyone, man. But you, as a follower of Christ, man, 
Don't let junk come out of your mouth, man. Represent God well. But think about it, man. If Even if the world labels swears as a bad word, how much more should we? You know what I mean? So I hope that helps, man. I hope that helps, dude.